So I made a video about a couple of weeks ago about my audio and video chain in my studio in 2025. And it's crazy, after I dropped that video, I said, this is too much. So I broke it all down, right? And believe it or not, it was great. It sound good, it looked good, but I wanted to size it down. Uh, my, my video chain, you know, was the Rodecaster video in the ATM Mini. Uh, but I broke everything down and I want to go over my new setup for 2025. And it's a complete road caster setup here in my studio. So let's have some fun. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I wanted to simplify my studio. I had too much going on. And a lot of you guys might still think I got too much going on. Uh, look, I wanted to simplify my audio and my video chain. I had too much, right? Look, think about this. In my last video, this is how my audio and video chain was. I had a Zoom F8 in Pro uh, going into a Norman MT48, and that was going into the Rodecaster video. Uh, and that was my audio chain and my video chain. I had a ATM mini pro ISO going into the Rodecaster video. So in my studio, I use about five or six cameras and I use about three computers and I have about five or six monitors. So I had a dilemma, right? And I wanted to change some stuff. So my dilemma went like this. I wanted to switch probably to the something bigger like a black magic 18 mini extreme that had eight inputs uh and i was going to remove my rollcaster video because i needed all the inputs even though i was using atm uh mini uh but i needed a lot so when i looked at in nab black magic announced the new atm mini extreme iso g2 but that price was 2200 dollars so it was kind of a no-go for me because i already had a rodecaster pro video so what i did was i purchased another rodecaster video uh and i already have a rodecaster pro 2 for my audio so i wanted this going on the switch out and make my entire audio and video chain be rolled for 2025. So think about this. I removed the ATM Mini, right, out of the lineup. I also removed the Zoom F8 in Pro, and I removed the Norman MT48 to simplify my audio chain. And I have another Rodecaster video connected to another Rodecaster video. And what you're listening to right now is the sound quality. What you're looking at right now is the video quality. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys how I hooked all this stuff up, right? Uh, because that's going to be the number one question that you may ask. How did I hook up two Rodecaster uh, videos together? And how did I hook up a Rodecaster Pro 2 into everything? And I simplified everything. And this is what, what I'm going to use for my studio setup in 2025. Well, I think so. All right, guys. So let me show you how I got everything connected uh, with my completely new setup uh, compared to what I had in my previous video. So I'm using two Rodecaster uh, videos here. I got them connected together and I'm gonna show you guys how I got it connected. Also, I am using a Rodecaster Pro 2 going into a Rodecaster video. Now, the Rodecaster video right here is going to be this one right here is going to be the brains uh, i have everything connected here and it works great one of the things that i like about road product and this is one of the reasons why i'm switching to the old all road product is because of how it intertwines and it syncs together with each other which works great so let's talk about it okay so i have one hdmi out going into a matrix switcher Okay, because I use a matrix switcher to control my monitors. I have a eight HDMI matrix switcher that's going into six monitors. So I'm utilizing one HDMI out going into the matrix switcher on that one. And I'm utilizing three computers here, HDMI going into each other. Now I'm not using a fourth HDMI on this one. I'm also using a USB-C um, I'm using a USB-C webcam going into slot 
four. But when you look at slot one, this is going to be the computer out, which is fantastic because I'm utilizing the computer out configured into the, the fourth port here of the rollcast of video. This is the main one. So I'm using uh, the USB-C from the first one going into my main one and it syncs perfectly. Now, slot five, I have the um, Rollcaster Pro 2 going into slot five and in software, uh, it recognizes everything. So it works great, which is absolutely fantastic. So when you look at this one, I'm utilizing all four HDMIs uh, because I'm using four cameras here and I have one HDMI out going into my matrix switcher. Now I do have two audio ports here that's going into my cameras, but that's no big deal because I'm utilizing all the audio that you're listening to right now is going uh, coming from the Rodecaster Pro 2 and I'm recording right now on both i'm recording on the rollcaster video and i'm recording on the rollcaster pro 2. now the reason why i'm doing it this way is because the rollcaster pro 2 have no effects no processing by any chance i don't like the way it sounds i can go back to the flat track uh but what you're listening to right now is probably coming from the rollcaster video uh, with full processing so I can utilize two tracks. I can utilize a flat track with no processing. And I got a process track going into the Rodecaster video. So I don't have to do no work in post. Now I eliminated the Zoom F8 in Pro that I had in my previous video. So that's eliminated out of my audio video chain. I eliminated the Norman MT48 that was in my video chain my audio chain, but I'm still using the Norman MT48 for voiceovers. Uh, then I got rid of the ATM Mini Pro ISO that I had in my video chain. And the reason why is because when I was using uh, the ATM Mini going into Rodecaster video, I was losing an HDMI port. But with this configuration right here, I have full access to all four of my ports, which gives me a total of eight HDMI inputs. And I have a total of two USB-C inputs for uh, webcams, which I'm utilizing one USB-C right now for a webcam. So I have a total of, I think five or six cameras connected right now. But I want to show you guys that go back here. Okay. Now, uh, number one right here is going into the computer, into the computer. All right. And number three, I'm, I have an SSD connected. So what, what happened is I'm recording everything on SSD, all ISO files. So it's in post, I can break it all down or I can use this final clip here, which I probably got to use this final clip uh, for the video. But uh, I do, the Rodecaster video is a, excellent uh, switcher uh and as you can see all of the uh the, the scenes that i got here i configure everything and it works great uh also the audio works great now i do have access to one more hdmi and one more usb c port and i can probably connect a, a ipad or another computer or another camera or another webcam so i do have some empty ports that i can utilize everything now i'm using the stream deck to control everything here in the studio. Now, uh, the, the Rodecaster videos are now available on BitFocus Companion. So I'm using the BitFocus Companion. Also, I'm using uh, the stream deck controller to control everything here, right? Coming from here, all my scenes, I'm controlling it here on this the stream deck and I have it all configured. Now that'd be a separate video. If you guys want to know how I configure both of these devices intertwined with the stream deck, because it is, it's a process. Uh, I've been doing it for a long time now, so it's pretty easy for me to do it, but um, it is a process. If you want to control everything on the stream deck, if you need, if you want me to make a video about that, leave it down in the comments below, but uh, yeah, so what you're looking at right here, and I have all my networking on both of them going into a network switch. 
So I do have a network switch that's uh, in my studio that I have a bunch of uh, wires going to uh, for the complete network in this studio because I'm, ut I'm utilizing two routers. So um, with my two routers, I have a network switch that's controlling a lot of stuff here in the studio. The stream deck comes in very handy because it controls the lights, it controls the switches, it controls my monitors, it, co it controls everything. Now, this is my setup right now uh for 2025 i know a couple of weeks ago i just dropped a video talking about my 2025 setup and after i made that video i tore down my complete setup and i wanted to go all road and i love the roadcaster video so here it is the roadcaster video here uh controlling everything in my studio all the cameras and everything else in between okay this is Dr. Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Rodecaster video and me connecting all this stuff in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.